someone has you in some type of competition or some type of tension. Someone has you in some type of tension where they know that you're fed up and tired, ready for change. And for many of you, you're over it. Someone has definitely gained a bad reputation with you. This is someone who is coming out with groupy energy. Someone who is only the worst of themselves when they're around other people. But I feel they're humbled or vulnerable by themselves. This is someone who destroyed some type of energy between the two of you. With their reckless ways. Holding a grudge. Wasting time and moving in silence. Playing games with you. This is someone who acts cold. Yet they're paranoid in their head about you stepping into your power or you being better without them or better than them. This is someone who feels like you are stepping into a new phase or someone doesn't like the fact you're, that you're dusting something off. This is someone who is trying to dig up dirt on you or start some type of drama with you. This energy is coming out as a drama starter. Someone who is always looking for something to be at war with because this energy is at war with themselves. This is someone who is trying to start up some type of drama. This energy is abusing their position. Hmm. Trying to be a thief when it comes to physical or, or emotional energy between the two of you. This is someone who has a lot of scare tactics. This is someone who has scare tactics when it comes to playing games. This is someone who thought that you were up to go back and forth with them because they're threatened by you in some way. This is someone who is threatened by you, so this is someone who has become threatening to you because they're all in their head about rejection or you taking something from them. So this is someone who is somewhat tripping on you, blocking you, trying to block you from something. This is someone who is trying to block you from something by playing petty games. This is someone who is all in their head thinking or knowing that you're wanting some changes. But they also know that you see them differently and something may never change. This is someone who got caught up in some lawless ways or this is someone who has a very low IQ when it comes to dealing with you. This is someone who feels rejected in some type of way. They feel like they can't measure up or they just feel threatened or bothered by you. And this is why someone is playing games that are definitely played out. Let's get some energy here on the spirit. This is someone who is neglecting you or trying to make you feel like you're on the outside looking in. As I sense this energy is annoyed by the fact that your energy or your light is more powerful than theirs. Someone is definitely coming from a very dark space. This is why your light is overpowering. In fact, I feel like this is someone who feels like your your light overshines or affects them in some type of way. This is some energy here. Hmm. Someone is wanting to portray themselves as someone who is capable or stable. This is someone who is trying to come out with big energy, but someone is on the move. Someone is losing something or something is being repoed. I feel someone is getting some type of rejection that they didn't see coming in their in their head hmm, about someone you giving something to them or them feeling like something is coming easy for you. Someone is broke mentally, spiritually, financially. There's some family issues when it comes to this energy who has bad habits. This is someone who's confused, and this is why they're trying to cause some type of argument or war with you. So much so that they're talking about you, trying to force their way into your energy, wanting you to react, wanting you to lower your vibration. Someone is in your face, and they're all smiles. Yet this energy is watching, obsessed, trying to bully you because they're hating on your happiness. This is someone who stands out as a karmic friend, a karmic energy, someone who can't fully be trusted. There's tension, secrets, competition, and this energy is truly curious about you. Hmm. Curious about you or just extra triggered by you, or it could be both. 
But whatever it is, this is someone who doesn't see themselves kissing your ass. This is someone who doesn't want to make you feel like you're better than them. But in so many ways, I feel you have dodged a bullet when it comes to a karmic energy. I feel you being uninterested or being unbothered is definitely tapping into their ego. Because this is someone who is having flashbacks. This is someone who is having side effects or haunted by someone bruising their ego. This is someone who is very emotional behind the scenes, but you would never know that due to their aggression or the fact that you feel like they don't have any compassion. But behind the scenes, this energy is more emotional than you know. This is someone who is definitely hurt and not wanting you to be idolized or loved respected or admired this is someone who is a spiritual hater and they're truly hating on you however i do feel like it's a waste of time because in the end you will win many of you are already in the space of being too busy winning to even care about what they're doing or how they even feel about you this is someone who is always looking to start a fight always looking to start a war or this is someone who is always trying to have their way but I feel their bad habits is the reason they're confused, triggered and lashing out at you. They've been rejected by something or someone else and now in some way they're triggered by you. I feel like someone doesn't like the fact that you're unbothered. This is someone who is all smiles but really trying to start some tension with you behind the scenes as I sense this is someone who is playing a game with you. Hmm, wow, I guess I'll take it. Someone's definitely ignoring something. They're trying to startle you, put fear in your heart. But I feel this is someone who's truly lonely behind the scenes. There's also some type of court issues, legal issues, and someone's trying to dig up dirt on others. But someone's going to be bankrupt emotionally, spiritually, financially. This mindset is definitely mar narrow or someone is just not able to run from their problems anymore. Someone can't move on. This digging up dirt could also be their energy as well. Someone could be digging up dirt on them or someone could be doing something that is against the law. And whatever these fake accounts are, someone's going to be found out. Someone's going to be in some trouble. Mm. I feel this is someone who feels blocked from your energy. This is someone who knows that they played a lot of these play pity games and put you at a distance. All because they're too busy saying anything and doing anything, making things up just for the drama. I feel this is someone who is always talking in circles but never truly being accountable. Someone is trying to deflect and point something in your direction. But I feel their bad habits are going to be on display. Let's get some more energy here from a different deck here. Mm -hmm. This is called Chaser Energy where they're also trying to re recruit other energies because as I said before, this is someone who is playing a very dirty game with you. This is someone who is playing with your energy, mm -hmm. believing they can't lose. But the fact that you are unbothered definitely changes the energy between the two. Mm. This is someone who is definitely faking it. Faking something because of their sense of lack. Someone is over exaggerating even when they're in a space of struggle. This is someone who is mm, wanting to start something over with you. Mm. But they also feel like they've gone too far. But I feel in so many ways this is someone who is low key. Still not being genuine with you. They're still playing with you. Pretending you haven't peeped game or taken notes. I feel like you see straight through this energy. Hmm. This is silent observation when it comes to someone who feels like they're getting over on you through wordplay or mind games where someone is still living in a fantasy. Hmm. Which is somewhat hilarious for many of you, somewhat amusing. It's awkward. It's weird. This is someone who is definitely overstepping their boundaries when it comes to you. But I feel like it could be funny to many of you because you know you've done nothing to this energy. and You just laugh in private. You don't even give them any of your energy. And for others, you know, this is someone who didn't see the fact that you with the shit. 
and whatever they're on you're on as well someone didn't see that coming many of you have to fall back from this just so you don't pop off or fall into this trap many of you are aware that this energy is low vibrational you're not gonna play with them not the way they want to play I feel once you figured out they were trying to play with you they all they had to do is say less because something was canceled flawless we canceled I feel like you had to show somebody that the games that they play you're not ready to play but I feel if willing to get into action I feel like this energy would definitely be over their head when it comes to you but I also believe you not giving them any energy or retaliation is definitely going to work out better for you this is some final energy here for this day. Final energy here for this day. Someone's doing some things behind the scenes to cause tension. This is someone who is doing things on the DL. Someone is doing things on the down low. As it seems they're trying to get the approval of others. And they could be trying to be discreet about it. But I feel there's a windfall here. Someone's trying to catfish a situation. They're upset that you're unbothered, so they're trying to get some type of reaction or prove to you you are standing alone when in fact you are never alone. I feel this is not something that you're willing to deal with, causing many of you to fall back even though you whip it. You whip everything they're down with, but this is someone who is not realizing how unbothered you truly are. It's just someone who wants to link up with you. They want to get closer to you just to be well informed. But I feel many of you must know this is someone who is on demon time. The energy just ain't real. The energy just ain't right. This is someone who is trying to catfish you to link up or connect, fight back. This is someone who is definitely a poor class or for the streets, and they're trying to vibe check you. But I feel they're on a slippery slope when it comes to this unwanted criticism or ruthless ways of someone who is trying to quickly respond to you. But I feel this is someone who's going to get caught up in some actions or something that just might end up getting them caught up. A thirst trap of something that they didn't see coming. As I said before, this is someone who is low-key hating on you, and they're about to do something as a last resort. They're not wanting you to gatekeep something, someone. Mm. But I feel someone's limited when it comes to the control they feel they have over you. Someone slipped on your energy. They thought that you were the underdog. They thought that you were finished last, and they're trying to gain pity from other energies. But I feel the dope's on them. The joke's on them when it comes to this energy, because as they're grasping for the only option left, you're on plan B. You have choices as well. And for some of you, you're doing something just in case. Whatever this is, is cringeworthy. This is something that is very distasteful towards them. This could also be nothing at all. This is someone who loves a reaction, but whatever it is, it's a, it's a drop of the mic. This is the end of a discussion, the end to someone else's mind games and mind play. As I said, you're about to be on target when it comes to proving your point. When it comes to someone who is trying to breadcrumb you, I sense whatever you did is about to be fully understood. Someone was trying to bait you in, trap you into some type of argument. Someone was trying to get others to see you or cause you to act a fool. Trying to put you in a space to get you to go crazy or prove a point that they have been trying to prove. This is someone who didn't see something coming when it comes to your energy or the lack thereof. Someone was trying to get a reaction or someone just didn't see that you were not up for their petty games. I feel like you silently observed what they were all about and you just couldn't see yourself giving them your energy. Final card here from this deck. I feel like you 
didn't want to get, give in to this energy. You can peep that this person was on a demon time. You can see that this person was low vibrational. And you were not going to stoop to their level. As I sense at this point, you no longer underestimate how far they'll go to destroy your peace. As they have clearly underestimated your ability to be unbothered. Wow. This is someone who doesn't see something coming, but I feel like you don't want to be bothered. You're unbothered or unapologetic about what you had to do. But I feel this just might be unpopular opinion, but many of you have to do what you have to do. As I sense, whatever they try to destroy is only going to come back tenfold for you. One more card here. So as I said, you guys, this is someone who is definitely being discreet about what they're doing, how they're trying to trouble you, the tension that they're trying to bring you, as this is someone who is doing things to exploit you or demean you or tear down your credibility when it comes to other energies, as they have actively tried to paint you in a bad light to destroy you, which as I said before, is somewhat ironic because you're still standing. Whatever peace they try to take is definitely hmm, still being fulfilled. Hmm. Someone definitely tried to leave you in pieces, but only gave you peace knowing you dodged a bullet and rejecting their energy. Let's get a final deck out here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Final deck, Holy Spirit. Confirmation, please. Wow. This energy is coming out as a siren. Someone who is definitely trying to annoy you. This could be male or female. But I also feel they were trying to get the support of others. Just to try to demean you or make you feel like there is no one else in your corner. Yeah, this is someone who is too invested in the pipe dreams. This is someone who also believes their own lies, but they have come to some type of dead end that is reflective or connected to a barricade. Hmm. Someone is definitely trying to paint some type of illusion when it comes to you. Their access is denied. Hmm. So I feel like their access is denied when it comes to trying to take what doesn't belong to them. I feel this is someone who is too invested or submerged in the smoke and mirrors, an optical illusion where they're entangled in the mind games. I feel this is someone who is wavering when it comes to their consciousness or wavering when it comes to reality when it because they're going through some type of warfare, spiritual warfare, mind control or this is someone who is just losing at their own game. This is someone who just doesn't know when to stop. But I feel they're, they have their own night terrors of shame. As I said, something is already going up in flames. This is someone who set a lot of fires. And now some things are now coming back to haunt them. As they were too unaware about life to even try to put out these flames. This is why someone is up at night trying to figure something out regretting the fact that they can't fix something with you because they're dealing with some other things and this is definitely the least of their worries but also another added pain to their problems hmm. but someone lashing out at you isn't your problem because at this point someone set a lot of fires that are now going up in flames, uncontrollable flames, where someone is trying to escape the raging fire that they have caused in their life. But someone is always too busy dealing with sharp objects and playing with playing with danger. Never thinking that they would have to pay for all the damage they created. But something is definitely long overdue. And this is why this energy is blocked from you. Always setting fires and this energy is always scared when they get burned. But I since they always had the opportunity. They just never took the olive branch. Now something is out of your hands and out of control 
that someone's going to have to deal with their issues. One more message here for the Sacral Spirit. Final message. So it seems like after all that talk, now someone is muzzled. Someone is muzzled. They don't have anything else to say after get, becoming a headache for you. After dealing with this head case or liability for so long, hmm, someone's quiet now. Or well, they will be. I feel like someone being on dark energy is definitely going to cost them more than they thought. But I also feel like you being unbothered is also bringing in the universe as well as the Most High to fight this battle for you. So if you want to know what you should do, I suggest you do nothing. I feel the Most High and the universe is, is going to cause way more damage than you ever could. Because the lessons they learn are the lessons they will keep, especially when it comes to their wicked ways. This is someone who is alienated and about to take on a journey of darkness. I feel like this is someone who wanted you to feel that way. Someone wanted you to feel alienated, overpowered, and on a journey alone. They wanted to trick you into feeling like you needed them or you should have given them more gratitude. But I feel someone should have never taken you for granted. But I feel in so many ways someone took you for granted because something was feeling like it was going to go their way. But due to the fact that things, retribution was moving slowly, someone thought that they were getting away with everything. When in fact, they were getting away with nothing. Because something is now deadlocked. Hmm. When it comes to someone who is counterfeit, corrupt, hmm. has a lust for power, because this energy is now submerged in an inferno. And the headache they once were for you is the headache that is now weighing them down. This is someone who is in an inferno of misfortune. This is someone who will be seen as a social outcast, a misfit, a bad seed. But I also feel it's an eye for an eye. As someone is definitely on the verge of being submerged in quicksand. I feel it's a downward spiral from here, doom and gloom, for someone who doesn't even see that they're washed up for being a false prophet. This energy of using their power or taking something for granted was definitely the case of death. Because now that many of you are at a distance or checked out from this, this energy is on the edge, regretting the fact that they put this in this type of energy, playing with you, they play it with themselves because now something is the end of times. There will be a tower moment. A tower moment for someone who is jaded, washed up, and someone will be in a space of tears as they fall into a space of blackout where something will become final. As I sense, they may have lost track of themselves in this game with you. Overlooking the fact that they are lost, miserable, and confused as you survived everything that they have thrown your way. As what well was meant to shake or break you, definitely got lost along the way. As you have survived of what would have broken most. But you're also an example of what can happen for you when you're in favor of the Most High. 